Hi, welcome on this system. It's 1905, so May edition. And um, we are going to talk about um, the new things that happened in the May month. So every month there is a release and we're going to have less and less releases, but let's also include something tutorial wise, education wise into the system. You see a red thing down there, which is PAMAC saying, hey, you've got updates. So we press or we type an alias in it in the terminal and we say update the system. Now at this point in time, you see there is a party repo. So the router, the, the master seat host is not available and I've just made also a ticket for that. You can always tell me and we'll post it on seathost.eu. Hey, it's un, um, unavailable, but never mind. So we have a backup. So GitHub is kicking in if that's not available. So that's the point of having a backup. Everything still works. Now, so updating is, is it updating Arch Linux and Arch Linux. When that's done, I'm going to do a PKS YOA and then you're all up to date. Do check if you have something Arch Linux in here. If it says we're going to write something in your skull, then you need, of course, to say, okay, let's get, um, let's do the command skull. So you copy paste everything that's new inside your home directory. You can check it with the alias. Almost done. Then I can type my PKS Y way and let's go into the detail. What changed? What's new in the May month? Because there is already an article and that's how to stay rolling. So if you have a 19.4 version, we can uh, update like I'm doing right now. And then um, you can have uh, a version of May. So there's no need to reinstall anything. Really, it's just uh, a way of keeping track of the changes, update everything. And this is AUR stuff, so Arch User Repository. Bear in mind that this is um, not for me, but I'm the maintainer of a package. So if it's out of date, if there are new commits, because this is actually a number of the commit, uh, if there's commit 46 on GitHub from Numix, just flag it out of date, I get a mail and I'll update it. Simple as that. That's what you should do with any of the AUR packages. All right, so let's, let's him do this his job here. The thing is, I have made an article available. That's the easiest way to do it. And let's kill all my tabs. You know, I have like 17 tabs open or something like that. So close other tabs, move it to screen one. And then you go to article next would be good. And we go to article next info. And here's the article that's available since, well, five minutes ago. We have here the May release. So this article and this video is going to be a part of the article. And down here, just for you, so you know, there is this how to stay rolling. So this is already a video, but it's just about the fact how to get from one version to the other version. But it never will tell everything that's new. It's just updating the system, which is super important, of course. But what we've changed is in this article. So maybe you're not a really fan of it, or maybe you don't even know it, but there are, well, 13 desktops in uh, Arch Linux. And this particular one is called Awesome. It's the name in here. And it's uh, Nick Petrov that has uh, um, developed all of these codes and we just uh, supply you well, what, what we think is going to look awesome, what we look, uh, what we think is, is also practical. And yes, we keep working on it. So um, things like Discord is a great channel. So join us on Discord and people say, hey, what happens with this and that when I right mouse click this or when I try to full screen that and all these questions come on, come on Discord and we have uh, put the solutions in the code because it's actually Lua code. So yes, when you install the awesome or when you build awesome, then of course you get the latest package. But when you install any of our previous awesome uh, ISOs, well, you need to update like we are doing right now in here. So Vivaldi is up to date. We can do one last time, just showing off. <laughs> we have um, everything is up to date and you know what this message is. It will be available pretty soon. So. Awesome has been changed 
quite a lot. 19 files cha changed, 231 additions, 317 deletions. And even after, so the development um, with the help of our beta testers, thank you guys, we get the input and say, oh, this is not working, that's not working, why not this suggestion, that suggestion, this. So we keep working on the codes. Remember, the awesome code, code is in the ETC scale. So when, you, when it comes in, you need to type scale as alias. So to get everything in your system. So these are still pictures of 05.1 I see. So we are at point two at this time and that's going online. So that's one thing. Awesome took uh, quite a bit of energy, but it's good, it's nice, it's uh, better, it's improved. Another thing we've done is um, make less Arch Linux B ISOs. Um, I've made it another video, a, a specific one um, inside YouTube. Let's have a look and see what we get, Arch Linux. All right, take one of those go to the channel, the channel, the channel, the channel, here's the channel. And one of the last things, let's kill this thing. Ready for the Arch Linux B project or build your own ISO. In this video, I'm explaining that with the amount of people we have, even with all the beta testers uh, combined, it's still a lot of work to actually test 28 ISOs every month. And it's never been our intention to build at night many ISOs. So it, um, the Arch Linux B guy, B means build it yourself. It doesn't mean download it, burn it and install it. It means you decide what comes on the ISO. And there's a full one, what, what we feel like that's the collection of packages I should have to have a fully functional desktop environment to work on. And there's another one getting rid of all applications, let's say, general applications like Atom, Genie, Sublime Text, browsers and all that, okay? So you decide what you need and want. It's a package, it's just a text file, add it, it uh, add Steam to it or, or delete it and add games to it. Anything that comes from the Arch Linux repo, so sudo pacman minus s, anything that you can install like that, can be just added to it and you have um, you have a ISO that's more written, or more, per, more personalized really, that's it. The point is with the Linux B that you can personalize what goes on the ISO, that you have less work after installation. So yeah, um, less ISOs you'll see once I've put everything online. Um, so the, the, the intention is for you to become aware that it's actually not a ISO you should download, it's actually an ISO you should build yourself. So that's this video that I just shown here. That's the same video here. Okay. A lot of work went in the Sardi and the Surfing. That's much work that it merited actually a change from 9.6 to 9.7. A lot of things uh, went wrong in the sense that GNOME is changing all their references to org.gnome stuff like something like that and renaming all of their applications which means basically it breaks all um, icon themes you need to follow their naming convention and that's what we've done here and as well here for the surfing but a little bit more Redshift is working here, is working somewhere else, but some of the people have issues with Redshift, is not working, frustration, and that's why it's out of our ISO again. No frustrations on our ISO. If you like to install it and it works on for you, then it's just a pseudo pacman minus s Redshift away, and you have it installed. But if it's not working, then you have an, an application that, that frustrates you, and we don't want that. Super Q was um, added a few weeks ago. I believe we started in Qtile, maybe also BSPWM, I don't recall. But Super Q is interesting to close a window, like Super, Super Shift Q was the official one, what we always used, but of course, Super Q is a little bit shorter. You don't need your pink for it on your hand to Super Shift Q, Super Q. So that went through all the systems, now XFC, Openbox, i3, awesome, BSP, WM, Qtile, Xmonad, it works. 
Thanks to ZVER43 on Discord, we have a Solarize Square 64, which kind of look like this. So if you want to log out, you can log out with these icons rather than the Sadi icons or the others. I believe we have um, 12 or so. Let's have a look. Where should we go to? Let's go to arclinux.com. Overlog out. 12 new icons and I've added the latest, the newest one here. So this gives an explanation how to do all that. So that's the OB logout theme. As always, we add something funny. So it's called color view. It's an, a script, a fun script, and it's in your dot bin. Once you do an update and a scale, it's there. Every month we have a conky, an AOR slate. I've uh, made also a tutorial about it. Uh, how to make a conky available on your system. So starting from um, a reference, I believe it's some kind of, well, you'll see in the article. Uh, so AOR slate, go to here. Maybe maybe show also the menu. Conky is that important that it is a menu, probably design, yeah. Conky, so the creation of AOR slate or how to add any conky actually uh, to the Arc Linux system. It's a way of thinking and then you can import conkeys from anywhere. It's just a conky. It's basically also not that important, but it's fun to have it around. So general improvements, I probably have left out quite a few, but Variety has a configuration update that we've changed. Calamaris version 3.2.7 is in use. Um, so things like that. We had no time to make any QTI tutorials, so it stays on the list on the to-do, but it's already there. And if you know other tiling window managers, then you probably uh, will find your way into QTile without me. But the plan is still to make, of course. So how to stay rolling? This is the video how to go from 19.4 to 19.5. Basically, it's updating Scale and PKS YUA, but it's also more educational, this one. So you'll see I use backup scale. So to compare what exactly in code has been changed, even spaces, commas and all that, it shows you with melt how to compare. I probably think I can include that quickly as well here. So super Q is what I pressed, it works. Super shift return, control H. If you have, unfortunately, if you have two backup scales you can compare there is none so backup scale is a command which is going to make a folder and you have two of them before the update after the update then you can say compare me these two guys and you can analyze and that's what's done in the video you can check it out there and for the rest it's um well just general information and um, well we're at the end of the talk so that's what we've done in the last uh, month and uh, we are already working on the 19.6 edition of course next uh, version and uh, well enjoy Arco Linux and um, if you can afford it if you say hey these guys are, are great uh, learn a lot of them so it's actually basically going a little bit to the university there is this little link here donation and if you can afford it, please do so. All right, enjoy.